Well, this was Emily's first performance since being discovered on the subway, and thousands of people came out to see her in person here at this Italian Heritage event. Still going on, as you can hear, a lot of people here still cheering some of the performers, some of the people here on stage. Now, as far as Emily, she only performed one song, which lasted about two to three minutes, but the people here say that they were not disappointed. Take a listen. Now, we first met Emily Zamurka last month in a video that has since gone viral, of course, thanks to the LAPD. We since learned that the 52-year-old is a classically trained musician from Russia. She came to the U.S. when she was 24 years old and taught music and performed on the streets of L.A. as her main source of income. But three years ago, someone stole her violin and she ended up living on the streets. The international tension has helped land Emily a record deal. Grammy-nominated music producer Joel Diamond has drafted an offer letter for her from his Silver Blue Records label. Now, Emily says she was nervous to sing in front of all these people as she took the stage. Take a listen. And I'm so glad about that, that I could touch your hearts with my, mu with my voice. Thank you so much for, for all of this that's happening right now. <laughs> I really thank you. I'm so overwhelmed. And aside from the record deal, two GoFundMe campaigns have also been launched in her name, and hundreds of thousands of dollars have already been raised as a result. Now, of course, one thing's for sure that all this attention has landed her on the map. That's the latest from here in San Pedro. Carlos Alcedo, KTLA 5 News. I'll send it back to you on Hollywood.